This video shows the initial reassembly of the entire Ori structure, minus, of course, the uh, outer three rings and the inner planets that go up here. Uh, we've restored now both of these sections and we are testing it for freedom of movement. So you really have to kind of hold this with one hand because it'll, it'll slide. Um, but what we do see is that we have a good freedom of movement of all of the wheels. And the thing to remember here is that nothing has been oiled yet. So this entire section up here is running completely dry. Now, we'll put some oil on it later and then put all the parts on top and the uh, outer rings will be the very last thing that will be done. And now I'm going to show this in the demonstration mode, which can only really be done once you secure this center piece to the central hub. The prior videos, it was allowed to spin around. Now, it is fully secured. So in the demonstration mode, you can now see it moving. And all of the wheels now are moving. Uh, in the prior video, some wheels were not moving because they were not being driven by the uh, by the uh, demonstration because the central axis was free to rotate and you can see uh, as you move the demonstration uh, it, and this goes around once a year so one complete turn would be one year in demonstration you can see the sunrise and sunset changing you can see these wheels turning which are going to be uh, obviously uh, uh, moving the outer planets um, if you look carefully you can see this also all functioning which is for the uh, earth and the uh, moon systems so the moon is going around in the earth and then uh, what's missing still are parts that go here which will be for the uh, center planets, and that will be coming.